Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You're watching for today. So I am using two different devices, one plus 9RT and another one is nothing for one. Both have different user interface. One plus 9RT has Oxygen OS 14, while nothing phone one has nothing OS 2.5.1 and 14. Both are running on the latest Android versions. So big question arises in the everyone's mind while buying the new phone, should I go for Oxygen OS of one plus or nothing was present in the nothing phones so in the future if you are you are concerned person you can decide whether to buy nothing phone or oneplus phones so without wasting your time let's get started on the new adventure First, we'll start with the launcher. Nothing phone comes with the Nothing OS launcher. It doesn't have much features, but double tap on the home screen to lock the phone. Its toggle is available. Hide app accounts is also available. The speciality of the whole the Nothing OS is their own created widgets which blinds in the OS magically and they look amazing both on the home screen and on the lock screen. Nothing has created their own signature circular or rectangular widgets f with the dotted fonts. It has all the new like compass widgets, new perimeter count widget and many more. As folder has the terms of the customizations, you can change the app arrangement of the widgets in the folder. We can also able to change the whole folder icons. Under the launcher customization who gets the unified lock screen and the home screen customization setting. Who gets the bunch of nothing signature and wallpapers. While applying wallpaper who gets the wallpaper zooming and the new option atmospheric wallpaper animation setting. This gives something different look to home screen. Under the icon pack setting nothing has added their own monochromic icon packs which looks nice. For lock screen, who gets the option to add the different lock screen widgets, which includes the clock, live wallpaper, tile, compass, etc. Who can add maximum two widgets on the lock screen, and all these widgets looks awesome on the always on display mode of the lock screen. Except that who gets the lock screen shortcuts, which can be accessible while long pressing on the shortcuts on the lock screen. Most of the tiles are accessible on the lock screen even if your device is pin or password locked. Now let's start with the review of OnePlus Launcher. OnePlus Launcher has more features than the Nothing OS Launcher. Here from the top swipe, we gauge the Quest Panel access. While swapping down from the center of the launcher, we can access the OnePlus shelf. Launcher setting has the different option in the wallpaper section, we gauge the lots of different live and static wallpapers. Like Android 14, AI wallpapers who gets the create your own wallpaper option, which resembles to AI generated wallpapers. For icons also who gets the bunch of the different icon shapes with the customizations. Apply system colors to the icon works like the monochromic icons of the Nothing Phone one. OnePlus Oxynos didn't have any better widgets like Nothing, they are simple one. Only one thing is different here in the launcher is it has the transition animation while sc scrolling the home screen pages. This launcher has only useful thing is the shelf where we can add the contacts, different widgets which are accessible while swipe them from the center of the launcher. While removing the widgets of the application from the home screen, nothing launcher offers long press and swipe the items to remove which is more easier than the long pressing and tapping remove button in the OnePlus launcher. QS panel of nothing was looks more stylish and elegant as compared to the Oxynos launcher, which is traditional and looks more jumbled because of closer rounded style. Similarly, volume panel styles of the nothing OS looks more cleaner and it has the mute mode, TND and vibration mode shortcuts. While OnePlus has dedicated error slider for this, they didn't added any software facility in the volume panel for these types of shortcuts. Even the settings panel of nothing OS is better than the OnePlus because nothing settings panel is simple and it has more materialistic look, while OnePlus setting is colorful and funky which I didn't like anymore. So in my opinion nothing OS launcher and the nothing UI seems more simple 
it has more pixel like look and easy to use it has all the useful customization without making launcher and system more funky like oneplus launcher did now let's check out the customization features offered by these different os oxonus 14 is customization hub under the wallpaper and styles for always on display who gets lots of amazing aod features like who gets the new carbon emission footprint aod similarly homeland is another aod that you get here inside aod shows us the real time uses of the phone who gets the different types of aod animation on the top of the aod clock who can check out it from here who also gets the canvas aod by using this we can create the canvas aod for any images Beat emojis are the another interesting feature which shows the animated faces on the lock screen or on the AOD mode. There is a theme store who gets here which has lots of free and paid themes already created by the theme lovers. We have to just download and apply it. It completely changes the look of the device but I didn't like it because it changes the look of the device like Chinese color OS. OnePlus offers the Dolby Atmos for the sound enhancement under the sound setting. OnePlus has the dedicated vibration app tips control for the device. We also get the new atmospheric ringtones which synchronized with the vibration feedback. Under the app section, we get the app cloner but only some messaging or the social application we can able to clone. App locker is another useful feature we get here which offers the locking of any application to maintain the security. App hider is another setting which helps to hide any application from the drawer. But here we need to set the pin code and then start to hide the application. To access the hidden application we need to dial the set code in the dialer. There we will find the hided applications. Flexible window is another setting. By using this we can open the multiple windows of application and then at the same time to use them for the multitasking. We can access the application in the multi window by just holding and swiping app to the top of the screen. There we can find the use app as a free from mode. We also get the option to open the application in free from mode from the recent panel. By just tapping the top middle bar of the multi window application, we can dismiss that application. We can minimize the floating app by dragging them to the edges of the screen and can access them back by tapping on the app icon on the edges. Smart spider bar is the another setting by using this we can access any application from the sidebar. If we enable it, it will be available at the right edge of the corner. We can able to add any application from the app drawer into this smart bar. We get the file dock and recent panel in the sidebar. We can drag and add any recently accessed file like pictures, videos, etc. in the currently running application. When you take the screenshot of any application, you get the extract content option in the screenshot menu. This will check the screenshot content and gives the ability to extract the pictures or the text from the screenshot. And you can able to add them into the file dock of the sidebar or inside the recent application. Except this customization, new Android 14 has the new aquamorphic design, means more smoother animation for the charging sliding swiping switching between application etc everything will be smooth now let's check out the customization offered by the nothing OS. under the app setting you get the same cloned application feature like oneplus but the major difference is that here you can clone any user application installed on the phone while in oxon os only messaging applications can be cloned App Locker is another feature available to add the lock protection for any application in the device. Now comes the nothing exclusive hardware related feature which we will not find in any software of any OEM. This is the Glyph interface. On the back of the nothing phone there are some LED lights which blinks for the various activities. We can control its brightness under the ringtone section. Who gets the nothing ringtone presets like nothing mechanical one and two ringtones which has unique glyph tones synchronized with the glyph light. Flip to glyph is the another setting which offers enabling the silent mode on the device by placing it into face down mode and when it enabled who gets the nice glyph animation on the back of the LED. Bottom glyph light of the panel acts as the Google assistant indicator 
its uh, links with the different activities when you talk with the Google. Charging meter indicator helps to show the charging level of the device. You can check the charging level anytime by slightly moving the phone when it's connected to the charger. Next, Glyph Composer is one of the most anticipated features which offers to create our own ringtones in the Nothing phone. We get some sound process like Swedish Mafia, Samfa, etc. Next, music visualization shows us the disco light type effect when we play any kind of media except the videos on the device. LED panel blinks with the synchronized effect with the played music. Instead of this, we get some experimental features like connect to Tesla car if you have the Tesla with the Tesla account. Also, nothing was only Android was supports to connect the Apple AirPods with the icons and the bat info in the setting. Under the display and the status bar, we get the network speed indicator, battery percentage, these types of features. We can set the device refresh rate to the high or the standard level. Under the system option and in the gesture setting, we get the all the pixel gesture which are very useful. Under the system setting, we also get the game mode which is available for the games control but this setting is not too much advanced as compared to the Oxonus 14. So let's check out the Oxonus 14 game space feature. From the swiping on the edges of the left or the right corner while playing the games, we can able to access the game space. Here we can set the programmer mode to the smoothest game level. Championship mode, there are lots of options available for the interference free gaming like call blocker and many more. Network optimization and touch sensitivity optimization both help to improve the network connectivity and touch response for the better performance in the games. We can add the overlay for the game FPS, GPU uses, CPU uses during gameplay. So today we compared to different Android based software OS like Oxygen OS was nothing OS 2.1.5. So what is my final conclusion about this comparison if you are lover of pixel type loop to your device with the combination of only few useful features then go for nothing worse. It offers some unique hardware related customization which are not available for any phone. It has better materialistic look with the simple uses approach. Instead of this if you check the Oxygen S14 now it is Oxygen OS less but more color OS after Oppo and OnePlus merger. It has lots of features and the customizations, some of them are really productive. So we can say this software version is like highly customizable ROM. If you want more customization, then this one is better for you. Next for the gamers, Oxygen has offered more game features to improve the game performance of the device while nothing has the better hardware for the gaming but did not have much more gaming control option. So gamers, you can go for the Oxygen OS. Performance levels of the both the OS for the day-to-day -day activity is same. So I didn't done any benchmark testing because it depends on the device hardware specification. After this comparison, I think you got the clear idea about software of these two OEMs. So that's it for today guys. Hope you liked my work. Then please do like and share this video. Subscribe to the channel. Press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.